Hey everyone, it's Allie. Today I wanted to show you uh, my favorite blushes. I actually have all of my trays of blushes out. I'm going to show you swatches, but I'm going to show you all the swatches all at once so I can point them out all next to each other so you can get like a comparison. I'll probably do that at the very end. So I just pulled out my trays out of my like Muji drawers and I'm just going to go through them and pick out the ones that I like the best. There's a bunch of different ones like drugstore. Um, I really don't use MAC blush that much just because I really like MAC blushes. Like. The colors are great whenever I wear them, I love them, but I just feel like, um, as far as blush goes, there's so many other brands that have, like, a lot to offer, and I've really been kind of exploring those avenues lately. So anyway, I'm going to get into it. Biscuit, can I have your life? It looks pretty easy. Don't you guys think Biscuit looks like a squirrel? Like a hybrid forest creature of some kind. Okay, so the first product that I'm going to show you guys is a roll-up cream blush from the drugstore and it's the NYC um, Blushable Cream Sticks. They come in an assortment of colors. Um, I mean, I'm just showing you all of them, but I guess my absolute favorite one that I really, really like is this uh, limited edition one in Wild Berry. So I don't know if you can still get this. It's like a hot pink. So um, that's my favorite. And like I said, I'll swatch them all out next to each other at the end of the video. But um, these are the ones that I'm pretty sure you can get all the time. These three colors. They're great basic colors for um, layering underneath your blush. The formula is really, really nice. It's almost like a cream to powder type formula. It sets up really nicely. This is um, Berry New Yorker. And the color, the names of the colors are really kind of dumb. They don't really make any sense. Like, this is not a berry shade to me. This looks more of like an apricot. This is Urban Spice. That one's kind of dead on. It's like a spicy, like a warm, almost like bronze tone type color. This one is Big Apple Blush, which I don't even know what that means. I mean, it's a peachy pink. I don't, since when have apples been peachy pink? But I know they're just trying to allude to the NYC thing. They're really nice because, you know, obviously it's a cream stick, so it's really convenient. Just like a roll-up cream stick, and you can just like dot it on your cheeks and then blend it out from there with a brush. Usually I use my Sigma Synthetic Face brushes for that. Obviously you can see I use these a lot. They have a wide variety of colors, so they'll pretty much match almost all of your blushes that you have. And, you know, give or take. It doesn't have to be a perfect match. And I have a video like all about this blush, and I love it so much. The Bobbi Brown uh, Pot Rouge for lips and cheeks, and this is the color um, Cabo Coral. So it looks like that, really gorgeous color, and it, I like it because it's an actual true coral. So yeah, you can wear this under, obviously, like the Blushable Cream Sticks from NYC. You can wear this, this underneath any powder blush, or you can just wear it by itself. This one has more staying power than the NYC ones, but um, like on its own, you're totally fine. I almost always top the NYC ones with a blush though, just to be careful. This is the MAC Cream Color Base in Fantastic. Doesn't look like much in the pan, but when you actually wear it, it's a really pretty um, sheared out bronze, like golden, warm bronze. It's, I hate to say bronze because it's really not, it just has like a natural warmth to it. Love wearing this under any blush or bronze or anything like that. So you can even wear it underneath your foundation and to get like a really sculpted, like a soft focus sculpt to your face, which is gorgeous. Love it. Okay, love that one. Next one, let's see what do we got here. My little tray of delights. Okay, I'm going to go with the Smashbox. Soft Fusion, oh no, Fusion Soft Lights and Baked Starburst. It looks like that. It has this kind of pie-shaped thing going on with all these different tones. There's like a golden one, a bronze, a really nice light um, shimmery beige, and this like rosier color. Um, when you mix them all together, obviously when you brush, you apply it. When you apply it to your face, it gives you this really gorgeous effect that I can't quite put my finger on to describe to you. It's almost like... Um, I like this one more for the finish than the actual color. It just kind of um, airbrushes your skin and makes it look very um, perfect. And I like that. You know, I have to talk about my MAC uh, Mineralized Blush in Gentle, which is this gorgeous, like, rosy purple. And um, 
This is unbelievably wearable. I find that it's just, I mean, I've said this before, but it really does match everything, and I absolutely love it. I don't really have much to say about it other than it's just, I can always count on this to look good and be flattering and make my skin glowy and beautiful and all those things that you would expect from a mineralized blush. The color is just a really great color and the finish is amazing. So, speaking of amazing, this is probably my all-time favorite blush ever. Um, Lancome Blush Subtil Shimmer Mandarin Sky. This is what it looks like in the compact and I mean how amazing is that? It's like this gorgeous coral pink color laced with gold. Um, much like the soft lights from Smashbox, it really illuminates your cheeks and um, it just looks so flattering and another thing that I probably mentioned before about this is that it shows up very very well in photographs and in a very flattering way in photographs so I always remember pictures from like like holidays or things like that and I look at them and I always know when I'm wearing this blush in the picture this is another drugstore blush now beware these covergirl I don't know covergirl why why do you do this to me um they make their blushes smell like grandma's pajamas you know it's like flowery and just like oh this is just like the cheekers blush in the color true plum I love purpley things and this is kind of a purpley blush it has that beautiful plummy like purple color and it has a little bit of shimmer and for an inexpensive blush it's actually a really nice shimmer it's like a glowy type shimmer I wonder how many times I'll use the word glowy in this video one. So if you're really sensitive to smells, I can get past it. I still really like it and I wear it. And another one that I like from the CoverGirl Cheekers, or not, it's actually Instant Cheekbones Contouring Blush. Uh, this is the color Sable. Sophisticated Sable. And the, I've had this forever and the brush is still in the plastic because I never use it. But it comes with this like darker contouring color here. A, ooh, like a cheek color here and then a highlight color. I really don't like the highlight color that much, but these two colors. The way I describe it is like, um, almost like Little House on the Prairie. Like if you've just been frolicking in the meadows. It has that look, sophisticated sable. Just that like really, um, like tawny flush to your cheeks almost. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, next one is Illamasqua Blush in, uh, pretty sure it's Hussy, but it's um, yeah, it's the Illamasqua Powder Blush, Powder Blusher. I really like the Illamasqua Compacts, they're just really cool. This is a great summer color, it's very punchy, almost like a strawberry flamingo pink. I really like this color a lot, especially when you have a little bit of a sun-kissed glow going on, it really emphasizes that, and um, it's really, really pretty. But anyway, this Laura Mercier Second Skin Blush Color in Lotus Pink is definitely in my, like, top three, I'd say. Um, it is the perfect pink, and the finish on this is gorgeous. It's seriously like, um, I don't know. It almost has that, like, look of cream blush, like it's just one with your skin, really, really pretty. It does have, like, a shimmer aspect to it. Um, it doesn't have, like, shimmer per se, but it does illuminate your cheeks really nicely when you apply it. And I believe that it looks like, judging from the compact, I think I have, um, you know, has like that little spot in there where you can press it and like you can you can pop this out of the compact and keep it in like a separate palette. So that's the Blushable Cream Stick in Urban Spice. This one is um, Big Apple Blush. Yeah. <laughs> that's so this one's Big Apple Blush. That really bright one next to it is the um Wildberry limited edition one, and then this one is um, Berry New Yorker. This is the Bobbi Brown Cabo Coral. That is the um, Smashbox Fusion Soft Lights, which you can't really see. I kind of said that. It's more of like an effect that it gives you, but you can kind of see it. This one is this one is the um, Mac Mineralized Skin Finish and Gentle, and this. Oh yeah forgetting this is the fantastic cream color base so you can kind of see how it just gives you that like hint of warmth okay so I actually have all my swatches on the other side of, the, of my arm back here but I moved them all down so that you could see oh so this is the 
Laura Mercier one in Lotus Pink. And then down here we have um, Illa Masca in Hussy, and that's the Hussy sheared out a bit. These are the three colors from the contouring, the cheek contouring set from CoverGirl. Um, you can kind of see how it gives you that like dusty rose look with those three. Um, this is the this is the CoverGirl Cheekers in True Plum, and then that really pretty color on the end. Lancome Blush Subteal Shimmer Mandarin Sky, which I don't think it's showing up as amazing as it actually looks on camera, but there's only so many things that you can do through the waves. So yeah, I kind of hope, you know, those are all my favorite blushes. Hopefully those swatches kind of give you somewhat of an idea. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye.